Hey everybody, it's Blue Tide, and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. Uh, U Deluxe. Also, apparently, Sparkling Waters is considered World 3 according to the flags, white flags on the title screen. Each one of those white flags represents a world in the game that we have completed. So you can see that there are some missing spaces for the worlds we haven't completed yet. But anyway, let's head back in. It also shows us on the title screen how many flags we've reached, so how many levels completely we've, like, we've taken out. So that's quite helpful. But anyway, let's head back in. As one player, as Toad. Also, it's interesting that I, n I wasn't holding down the L button there, but it was allowing me to replay it going back into my profile as Blue Toad, so... But anyway, it's time to finish off Sparkling Waters. So let's get started with this level over here, I think, unless I missed something over here, which I don't think I did. Uh, Dragon Dragoneel's Undersea Grotto. This is going to be interesting, because Dragon Eels... Also, I'm saying that like it's one word, it's it's kind of like two words mixed together, but it's... It, no, I'm saying it like it's two words mixed together, but they're... It's it's two words together that are apart are apart. Dragon Eels... Also, grab, uh, grab Fire Flower. Are a special enemy that we're going to meet in this level. I'm pretty sure. Also, there's also quicksand on the bottom of the screen, but also that's a dragon eel. We need to avoid that because it's gonna try and ruin me. But I also need that. I also need that, though. Ah. Uh, luckily, they can only turn so much, which means we can actually kind of make them loop around us. Ow, I'm gonna just take the hit and go through because once you get hit by something, you have an invincibility frame so you can go through them. Or any other enemies that you need to, for a bit. Or just something that hurts you in general. Uh, anyway, I don't remember this level for some reason. Which is probably a good sign. Let's grab that checkpoint, and I might want to get this thing to loop me. So I need to be careful. Also, you can apparently shoot it to make it go faster, which is probably not the best thing. It just makes it go... ...in its spin a little bit faster, for a bit. For a second. Also, I need to be careful. I hope there's a way that I can actually take this out. I don't think there is, but unless there's a star power somewhere. Specifically for this. Oh, don't touch me. There's also the pipes to help you move around faster. And speaking of pipes, that red pipe looks important. Go, 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 This is dangerous, this is dangerous, this is dangerous. It's okay, because I'm going down the pipe. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay. Well, this looks simple enough. Let's just grab that and get out of here before these purple dragon eels get me. Because they'll just follow me and... I, I imagine... I mean, that's what the regular does anyway, but I'm assuming those ones are going to be worse in some way, because purple fish are bad, so I imagine that purple eels would be bad for me. Also, I love just shooting all the fish with the fireballs and making all the coins drop. But anyway, that seems to be the end of the level, which is good for us. No secret, as far as I can tell. Also, I love how the end flag, like, stairs are all different in each level. Usually different in every level. I especially like the, the pipe one. Have we seen the- we did the pipe- we- th there was a pipe one, wasn't there? I'm pretty sure there was. That we've already seen. But anyway, we're up to the boss now. Also, what items do we have again? We have a little bit of space, uh, but we also have a super crown that I want to get rid of at some point. <sighs> it seems weird to say that, but it's really unhelpful. Okay, this is going to be an interesting time. So let's just focus on getting... Oh my goodness, this is going to end badly. I want, I want, I want this one. Okay, and I don't know which one of these I want, so I'm just going to grab one. Apparently I did. Also, I didn't grab the pink one properly, so let's go do that. And that should be good. Oh my goodness, I got two times. I got the best outcome. Good. Good job, me. That was a random chance with the blue one, though, because I, I didn't keep track of it well enough. All that really matters is not getting the Bowser and you should be good. But now I have so much stuff in my inventory and I need to make more space. Which should get easier as time goes on since the game is going to get harder. 
now. Larry's Torpedo Castle. Well, this is technically World 3 according to the map or the title the file select screen. I know what screen I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, we have torpedoes in the water there, which are basically just water bullet bills. But we also need to have uh, press up on these when we're overlapping with the these background. I don't know what to call them. Uh, but we can climb on these and move around on them. You, j you jump and you... If you jump, you uh, get off of them. So I'm assuming that's actually going to be... No, am I wrong? Is that the way you're supposed to get that? I guess so. I'm surprised by that, but anyway. Now, in the underwater, we need to be careful of these things. We can't really freeze them, apparently. And they're going to spawn in a lot, so... And they're quite fast. Also, I think if they crash into each other, they'll probably take each other out. But anyway. Up we go. Now, I feel like there's also a secret around here somewhere. Because there's a star coin. But also, I believe... There's this up here. Nothing. There's a pipe, which I can do something with. Ow. Oh, that's not good. Let's grab that. I'm gonna be careful here for a second. <laughs> Something I'm not usually doing. Being careful. Even when I say I'm being careful. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, speaking of which, I can't... Oh, that's barely enough space there. Okay, 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 okay. You need to kind of go with the flow of the torpedoes if you're going in the same direction as them. To get through. Okay, up the pipe. Oh, I love the music in the Bowser's castles or the end castles. Is that weird to say? I like this song. And I feel like it's not normal to enjoy this song. But I I, I do. I don't know. Uh, I feel like there's something down here. Ow. Pain is down here. Nothing there. Oh, don't touch me. Now, this is bad. I need to live. I need to live. I need to live. I need to stay alive. Is there a secret here? I know there's something somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm wrong. Also, there is just so many of these. We move very slowly on the bottom of the ground, the bottom of the water area. Which is fine. Is there really no... Secrets in the ceiling that I... Maybe I missed something, I don't know. Anyway, let's just move on. It should be fine. That was a long area underwater. Oh, please grab that, thank you. Okay, now we get to... Climb on the fences some more. Tap up. Oh, there's a secret in the ceiling. I'm glad that... Random luck gave me that, because otherwise I would not have found that. Now, where would a power-up be if I was going to give a player a power-up? Right there, cool. Also, this is a cool door, having the fire things. I don't know what to call those. It's fine. <laughs> the fire burners right next to the door, and the Dry bones. But anyway. Let's go take out Larry, I believe. If I've got the name right. I should remember. But anyway. Okay, what do we have? We have water pillars. That's cool. Also, he's going to be annoying if he hits me with his attacks. But that's okay. Also, this is an interesting way to do a boss. Ow. Ow. Okay, just need to stay above him. Be careful not to get hit by a shell. There we go. And didn't even need to worry about his magic throwing... throwing him throwing magic at me. But there we go. That is sparkling waters complete.
I did it. Um, did I miss something here? Did I miss something? Uh, did, is it fine? I don't think I missed anything. But maybe I did. Or maybe I didn't. It didn't tell me that I got all the star coins in this world. But that's okay. We'll find out what that's about. So, let's just move on. <laughs> but now, we're on the mighty cannon ship. And this is our first time on an airship. Oh my goodness. But airships are usually a pretty difficult levels. Usually. From my experience at least. We have a lot, lot of extra things here that we can do. Like these cannons that shoot cannonballs that we can bounce off of. That screw thing. Platform that we can move around. We've also got these blocks that we can break by ground pounding into. Ladders. All, all sorts of things. I'll grab that quickly. This is the first one, so we're doing good. Just need to be careful of everything. And get all the secrets. The ladder works just like a... What's it called? Just press up on the ladder and you can climb up the ladder. Also, there's Mecha Coopers here, which are the enemies that we've been... Basically ignoring for a little bit here. But... Bounce off that. Uh, if you hit them, they don't die instantly. Uh, and you can pick them up, but they'll get back up again. They're like Cooper Troopers, basically. Just normal Cooper Troopers, except they don't have a shell. Uh, but you can also freeze them like anything else, and then destroy them like that, if you want to. Oh, red. It's red, that means that it can home in on me. Which means I need to be very careful. Oh, very careful. Actually destroy the block with the explosion. That's good to know. I might just leave that, but I do need to get that star coin, so I need to go quickly. Okay, just need to be careful now. It would have been nice to have a power up. Oh dear, that's not good. Also, I need to be careful of. Ah, uh, I guess there's no secrets left. Oh, go in the pipe, go in the pipe, go in the pipe, go in the pipe. I have one hit point, and I'm in trouble because we're at a boss. We get to fight Bowser Jr. We also have pipes in the ceiling to push us around, so we need to be careful of that. We need to do the impossible, which is get this red torpedo to hit Bowser Jr. and not go directly into where he's spawning in another one because that is just rude of the game to do that to us. That's so rude. Anyway, let's use a power-up and head back in then. Also, Nabbit's there, apparently. Back in sparkling water, so we have to go do that. Uh, but first... I guess ice power-up makes sense. I don't really know. We did get a flag pole, so that's good. The check, check, check flag. Okay, here we go. Just need to be very careful and not get too close to the red torpedo. If it just explodes itself, that is good for us. Okay. Oh, I need that. I need that. I need that. Oh, why are you toming in like on me like this? You're so precise. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to blow that up again and get the power up if possible. This 
torpedo is way too powerful. Okay, good, 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 good. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Or the fish, I guess that works too. I need to get out of the way of you. Just go. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Ow. Go down the pipe, go down the pipe, go down the pipe. Okay, we have two hit points now. Let's see how this goes. Just need to get the red torpedoes to hit Bowser Jr., which doesn't sound like it should be difficult. But it apparently is. Thank you. <laughs> Getting flung around the room. Hello. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that was a really bad position to be in at that current point in time. Just need to be careful and stay above Bowser Jr. Hopefully that will work out for me. Okay, hit Bowser Jr. 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 Thank you. That's two hits. Just need one more. It is a boss after all. A Nintendo boss. At that. Oh. Top and bottom. Okay, just one more hit. Very nice. You missed me. Well, anyway, that's that done for now. The ship is still going. We'll take what we can get. Anyway, we've made it to the next world now. And also, I'm still concerned by the fact that I don't have the thing with the thing. Hang on, where do I... Menu... Star coins. Okay, Frosted Glacier. Sparkling waters. Oh, I missed one on the leaf level. I forgot about that completely. I don't know how I completely for forgot about that. But, that's fine. I can go get that. Also, I can go get Nabbit as well, so let's do that. But we've made it to Soda, du Soda Jungle, which is the world that the shortcuts from World 1 and World 2 go to, so... All that way. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I need to catch Nabbit, and he's running away at full speed. And I'm just getting slowed down by everything right now. Come on. Gotcha! That took a bit longer than the last ones. That's okay. That one's a difficult level to have that in, I guess. But anyway, another PA corner. I think that means that my inventory is almost full. So I need to probably do something about that. Oh, <sighs> okay. Which I guess I could actually change character to Toadette to try and use up the Super Crown, but I also have to get hit by something in the level. Which, I mean, could happen by random chance, or I could make it happen, which would be cheating, but, I mean, it's fine. Anyway, Skyward Stalk again, because I forgot, somehow. Here we go. Please go up. Please, please, please go up. Also, we can just get a Super Crown from this level. Because that's the way that Toadat seems to work, is if you don't get... Well, sometimes you get do get a uh, Super Acorn, but most of the time it's just Super Crowns. Now, I need to be paying a lot of attention because there's probably a pipe or something that I just didn't go down last time, which I need to do. It should be simple enough. Although, maybe it's just something else where I can go into the wall or something. Okay, there's the first Star Coin. Hang on, what's with... 
That's not anything, is it? No. I'm gonna pop these balloons. There's a pipe, but I don't think I can go down that since it's slope, slopey. You can't go on a down a sloped pipe. There's the third star coin. It was probably behind clouds there. Looks like it. But anyway, there's that. So now we just need to make it to the top, which we can do. And I'm somehow avoiding getting hit, even though I'm at the top of the screen, which I think- I would have thought that this would be the most dangerous place to stand. But I guess the game can't be too rude to you. But then, why wouldn't it just do it anyway? Oh, there we go. That's what I was expecting to happen way earlier than that. But this is good for me because it means I can use up the super crown in my inventory. Oh, hello. Just need to get up. And that somehow worked out very well for me. In more ways than one. There we go. Now we can use up the item and head to the next world. All of the things are falling into place. You got all the star coins and sprinkling sparkling waters. That's gonna mean something good, right? Yes, indeed. That's another world completed, and that means we're halfway through the game. Since, you know, it's a Mario game. Eight worlds. It's classic, really. Uh, anyway. Can I use up this item now, please? Thank you. Uh, and now let's change character back to Toad. Blue Toad. And go to the next world. You can see the paths connecting from all of the worlds previously. You can also see the path that leads from the snow area, snow world. Ah, uh, but anyway, now that everything is connected, let's get started on this world, if I can exit the thing. Soda Jungle. Also, I like the gigantic pipe there, on the map. Okay. Jungle of the Giants. Makes sense considering that pipe that we just saw. But also these blocks are huge as well. Okay, what does this block have in the Fire Flower? Okay, well I don't know that that's gonna work instantly on these things. You can use it on the big Goombas, but they take multiple hits to take them out. But also, why wouldn't you just do this? Or possibly you even use the Cooper Troopers. Ah, oh, I almost got it. Also, these gigantic shells can also break stuff for us as well. Just like that, which is pretty cool. Also, there's just so many things to bounce off of here that why wouldn't you? Messed up that a little bit. It's a good thing that Piranha Plant doesn't just try and get me just for being around. Because I wouldn't... I would imagine that a giant... Uh, Prana plant would just go and not even worry about anything else. Ow, that's rude. But also okay. I need to probably Oh, I don't oh hello. No, don't go come back. No, no, don't go that way. Uh, it's fine. There's another one here that we can get. Also the giant flowers still give us coins. Now let's see, if I send that flying this way, it should open no. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, it's fine. There's also this shell here that we can use. I don't know if that's going to stop when it hits the edge there. It is. We're just going to open up this path down here. Giving us access to everything in the universe. Uh, but also... Okay, I thought one of those was going to be a one-up box, but nope. Ah! Pain. It's fine. Okay. Just need to be careful. Need to break that open so we can go down this pipe, question mark? Yes. And we have some P switch to turn all the blocks into coins. I guess that's everything that's down here. Also, I'm going to miss a lot of those coins over there if I'm not careful. 
I almost got them all, but I didn't. You know, that's all that really... No, uh, I guess it's fine. I did a good job of getting most of them. Okay, Fire Flower. I feel like there's going to be an invisible block for some reason. That's going to allow me to go places. Also, there's several pipes here. So I'm going to go down one of them. Because I, th I would have thought that one of them, at the very least, would work. Oh, hey. We can do this thing again. Oh, I missed messed it up, and now I probably aren't, am not going to get... Oh, especially not with that. Let me just go up the pipe. I'm not going to get any one-ups over there. And I prefer to not die. So let's do that. That seems like a great plan. Also, this area looks cool, because I believe if we knock the shell that way, it destroys all of those, but also destroys all of those in this weird way that it allows us to get all of these, and also get a star power. Also, I feel like I need to go faster than that. That's okay. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. I need to be up there for that star coin. Well, that's why you're supposed to have the star power at the very least. But I don't know if I can do this without a power up of some kind. Particularly because it wants me to have the star power to take out these enemies in the first place. Oh, I'm not going to get that now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to come back for that. Luckily, I have a friend who just happens to have a super crown right now, which allows me to fly, which might make this a lot easier to get to the end and also get the, the thing. Unless I get hit, because that, that's going to be bad, so... I could also use a power-up right now. To start using those up some more. Uh, but anyway, let's switch back to Toadette. Please, thank you. And let's go get the star coin. I wonder how quickly I can get to the end of the level with Peachette. There's only one way to find out. And that's to fly at full speed without any care of my health. This seems fine. This seems so fine. So fine it hurts. Oh, so fine it hurts. And it's so good. I don't know what that combination of words means. Apparently. But we are getting there. Oh, don't fall into the death, please. Uh, I might try the star power again, but I need to do it a lot better than I did. So let's do that. Okay, star power. We can also let it bounce for a little bit before grabbing it so that it'll last a little bit longer as well. Oh, please grab that. Oh my goodness. You can also break those blocks, which is why I was trying to be careful of that. But anyway... There we go. That worked out quite well for us. That's the way you're supposed to do that. Except for missing the star coin and then going back for it, but you know. You know what I meant. But anyway. That is that done. So let's switch character again. I could even play a different character to try and get more lives. But I like Blue, Blue Toad. For obvious reasons. Okay. Pick a block, but don't pick the Bowser. Oh my goodness, there's a super crown. I don't want it. I don't want it. Please, don't make me. Please. Please don't make me do it. Oh no. Oh no. I have to get it now, though. I have to get the items, but I can't get the items because then I have a... That's fine. It's fine. Also, how much space did I have in my inventory? I didn't, didn't think I had that much. So will it fit? That is my question. It pro It's probably enough space. Probably. Hopefully. I think. It's full now, right? No, it's not quite. Also, I have a mushroom. Mushroom and star coin. No, super crown. Great combination of things. Just absolutely perfect. Bridge over poison waters. This is good. Also, the poison waters are basically lava, so let's not jump into that. Because we will die. Also, did I just... I'm pretty sure... I, I did like a spin... 
jump thing. Also, how do I get up there? I don't know how I did that particular jump. Uh, anyway, what is in this block? What up? Oh. Super acorn. Or squirrel suit. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'll take this. <laughs> Which means I'm going to come, be completely reckless now. As always. Oh, hello. I need that. Also, the logs will roll down if we're not jumping for safety. Let's go up here. There's probably a P switch actually to activate those, turn those coins into. Uh, what's it called? Turn those coins into um, blocks. Also, I don't know what I'm trying to do right now because I, I see the power block, but I also want to activate all the coins that aren't activated so I can just knock them all off at once. And actually, you know what? I see that those blocks now, and I know that what's inside of them because there's a P switch there, and I should have activated that on the first the, the first time. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Also, can I please... Perfect. This was completely pointless, but anyway. Other than getting the star coin. All I needed was the star coin. I just spent years in there. Anyway, let's go on a journey. And I think I need to actually go down into this wall here. Maybe. Maybe not. Then maybe... No. What is this? Oh, can I just... Oh. You know what? It makes sense now. It all... It... You know when the math... You add it up, it... It makes sense. Also, wall. I saw that. What is this? Oh, the, the math. It, it... It's adding up. It's crazy. That's a cannon. Wow. Okay, maths. Right. Let's see how the maths goes. Give me that one up. I don't need it, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. There's so much maths in here. It's crazy. Uh, but anyway, let's activate that. Something up here? No. I would have thought that that would be, but anyway. I need a power-up. I want a power-up. I've been with that one for too long, and I want one. There we go. Score a suit. Also, blocks that are moving in and out of the poison. Works for me. I didn't need that, but I took it, so there's nothing you can do to stop me. It's a good thing I got that star coin that was just going in and out of the poison as well. Uh, I also want to get this, even though I really don't need it. Let's go up this vine. Actually, I wonder, is this something important? This is probably important. This seems important. I should probably not call something unnecessary. Uh, anyway, let's go down this pipe. Oh, I just... I'm... I are smart. I'm so smart. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, no. I have to replay the level now. It wanted me to have a squirrel suit, which is why there was coins in the air, but I was confused by the pipe because I thought it was a cannon pipe. And now I'm upset. But anyway. It just means I get to play the level again. My favorite thing. I had to play the level again anyway, though, because I'm pretty sure that's a secret exit. Which means I would have to play the level again. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's, it's self-explanatory. That means it explains itself. You know, that, that thing that I'm very helpfully ignoring. Okay, here we go. Let's go get the thing and try to lose this power-up so I can get a, could use up the inventory space by not using up the inventory space. This is working out very well. I'll grab that. This seems fine. This seems fine. <laughs> this seems so fine. Okay. Just need to be safe. And careful. And here it is. Well, let's just grab that and do the thing with a shell so we can get up here. 
And now let's not go down the pipe. I can't imagine anyone doing that at any point in time and being very upset with themselves, but anyway, here we go. Oh, hey, look, a flag. Let's grab that. Oh, so what happens if I clear... That's interesting, because I haven't cleared this flagpole as a normal character. Does that make any difference? Probably not. Because I reached it with an easy character, and I don't want that to take away from anything else. Also, this just takes us to the second half of the world, or third, 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 third. You know what I mean. Also, <laughs> hello, Nabbit. Already. What's that toad house where he came back with the item? The item house. It's all so interesting. Anyway, let's get Nabbit. Also, we have 200 seconds. Does that- is that an, an easy, easy character thing? That's probably just an easy character thing, which is interesting. I think we float slowly with Peachette. Gotcha! I really don't want to take away from the experience by having the easy character do th weird things. I don't like that you can't just have four normal characters. Why, why do you do this game? It's so fine. Also, I have no space anymore and I need to use an item. So, let's just not get any items and let's bring out Blue Toad. Oh boy, I sure, sure, you're here to hear. You know? You know. Uh, anyway, we have these new enemies that will move around if there are blocks for them to stand on that are in line with themselves. Uh, but also, we can bounce on top of them to kill them or jump underneath them into them to knock coins out of them. Not that that's terribly helpful. Oh, this is also not terribly helpful. I kind of like this power-up. I don't want to lose it right now. Well, so that's rude. <laughs> How dare you? You've done me wrong. You've wronged me. Also, let me just hit you a bunch. Get some coins. Also, I believe they turn into fruit. Well, this one does. If you hit them in fruit mode, they give you more coins. But also, you can probably eat them with Yoshi, question mark, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Grab that coin in the wall. Power up, power up, power up, power up. Also, different power plants that can stretch their legs to become tall. Also, star power. Interesting. I don't know how helpful this is. Doing all that. Uh, but anyway, we're over here now where the last star coin is, and we have to do a bunch of other stuff before we can actually finish up. So let's use that donut block to float down carefully and safely. Also, I see that. Is there a... There's probably a thing if I go back. Also, unless it's from the... What's it call it? That I didn't get the green coins. Uh, that might not work no more. I could come back, although if I hit, if I jump, no, there's nothing there. Okay. Well, hopefully there wasn't any secret exit by taking the uh, mini, mini parrot pipe. Mini mushroom pipe. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that thing that you did. Ow. I'm just trying to take out the enemy without it hurting me while it's attacking me. Uh, anyway. I know I'm not even going to worry about the top of the flagpole. Well, there we go. That should be everything. Also, that pipe did not connect back, and I'm concerned now. Although, what could it really... Uh, I don't know. Anyway. That is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.